Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Rat Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising Weekly Tarot and the Normand reading for November 12 to November 18, 2018 And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a, a general reading for Pisces Star Sign and it is not your personal reading Therefore, I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but at the end falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, um, this is going to be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And one more thing, as the uh, Christmas celebrations are looming on the horizon there is a christmas sale going on right now that it is tied to the 20 minutes uh live reading service and basically gifts you a the service of one uh, re recorded answer to a, a specific question so uh, that being said uh going to the tarot spread first now the first card which is appearing to be the topic of your pisces week this is to be the seven of wands so that is to be a, a rather how can I place a difficult week from that specific standpoint that you are to have many people messing around with your stuff? As a matter of fact, the Ace of Wands speaks for the uh, speaks for hidden enemy. I don't want to lie to you here, all right? But that card points that you are to start experiencing some abnormal unfoldments into either your career or either into your relationship. And at the first thing. Uh, you will not know where this the, uh, these awkward situations are coming from, you know. Um, you will know what to do about it and uh, most likely they are uh, provoked by some rumors spreading around or simply people are trying to dispute as well your performance, your achievements or, or your standpoints into your, uh, into your relationship as well. And first, what it seems very innocent uh, provoke, uh, uh, act of uh, af act of provoking, you know that could escalate quite quickly here, and it could really make the situation uh, very overwhelming. That's why the Seven of Wands asks you to be uh, very vigilant about. Uh, people and in general situations that are jeopardizing you know your performance at career or your well-being into your relationship and as soon as you feel that something is wrong and as soon as you see that as a matter of fact something is wrong you should not spare any resources and uh, you should address it straight away I mean you shouldn't give it you, you should not give it a silent treatment because giving it a silent treatment is going to give it uh, a soil to thrive and believe me is going to thrive pretty pretty fast um, and at certain points in a couple of days, you are going to find it uh, impossible to be overcome to that point. So heroism is required from your behalf, Pisces. Heroism to stand your ground, heroism to stand for what you believe in and for uh, what you have achieved until this very moment throughout that week, November 12th to November 18th. Then what we do have that is to be the full card, which is the core of the situation, and that regards to a a, a new um, a brand new thing in your life. As we all know, the full is about uh, the new beginning, and that is the uh, complete new beginning. What I mean is that could be new job, new relationship, uh, new empathizement as well, uh, or in general, new direction that you have decided to do. For example, you know, you have decided to change your career path, and now we do have people messing around with your things, preventing you from being successful, etc., etc. And they st stay hidden beneath the surface. Basically, we see see here a resistance that is trying to deprave you from your from your new beginning you know again new relationship it could be as well a new job or a new project etc etc what is important here with the full card is to a uh, acknowledge the difficulties now um, as the full is as positive as possible when one uh, does not care much of how one is going to get to the point where they want to be and that is what gives the full drive here now the fool appears as a root of the situation or something that happened in the recent past and now it's where it is the time you to address really the issues, to address the obstacles, to address especially uh, people which are not exactly um, 
feeling comfortable and they stay stay against what you want to accomplish against what you want to achieve and throughout that week as i said if you are determined if you are heroic about it if you are uh, ready to make some actions to exert some action um, in the right moment then you are to overcome the competition if you are not well the the competition is to overwhelm you big time so uh, what i'm trying to say here pisces that uh, time for the shenanigans and for the shits and giggles is over and now the serious the serious work is coming uh, is coming by and the serious work needs to start from where you feel hostility and for where you feel threats and you need to deal with those um, with those events and with those things first before you actually start building up foundations and before actually you can make any advance forward with your agenda with your relationship with your career and and in general with whatever you have uh, recently uh, initiated then the next card stands for the uh, challenges which are to cause predicaments for you we have the empress the empress points that you are to find uh, it will be very difficult for you to remain your calmness all right basically what you are to find is going to aggravate you is going to piss you off is going to basically make you explode is going to make you you know tear up your hair and uh with the emperor's card that that specific uh, state uh, may um may deprive you from uh, from taking a, a balanced decision here decisions here as some important matters may elude you down the road being so emotionally connected and be so uh, and be so emotionally uh, disrupted here throughout the week that's why you need to maintain your calmness all right you need to uh, attend to the situation very very professionally rather than uh, rather than emotionally one thing as well is that the empress points that maybe this week you are to find yourself rather depraved from results results <clears throat> but that should not be again a prerequisite for you to uh leave behind what you are in uh, what you have initiated recently uh, you are to be the prey from the from uh, from results because the competition here the resistance is depriving you from are those results lost no they are not but you are to collect them further down the road in a couple of weeks or maybe a month one more thing i want to say in the uh, with the empress is that the battle that we do have here in between you and the resistance is going to be very ugly it's just there will be anything is is allowed in that battle i mean this this is like a war and uh, in war and in love there are no rules basically everything is um, is allowed so uh if you follow a certain code of conduit well that is bad for you all right i mean you need to use any means necessary any way you can so you can overcome your uh your competition and simply that's that uh, and because you will have a, a certain competition and resistance here it will be you will find it very challenging to systemize a specific plan of action from now on regarding the initiation here the initiative that you have taken but that will happen with its time you know just don't force yourself at that very moment don't, don't go ahead of yourself first deal with those that doesn't want you there and then the uh the 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 system of the plan or the structure of the plan is going to come by on its own accord and the last card that we do have this is a, about the guidance that you should uh, that you should follow throughout the specific uh week and we do have the eight of cups so the eight of cups first points that this is exactly the path that you need to walk at least right now in this specific week even though now, it is not the most pleasant thing in the world that you have to endure. It does have its meaning. And uh, on top of that, this card also reassures here that following a certain code of conduit isn't going to work out very, very well for you. You know, following a certain rules or uh, in general, you know, certain um certain obligations you need to again use anything that you do can uh, in any way you can because the eight of cups is about as well the winds the winds of change the uh the means that you are using right now they are either researched very well from your competition or they are outdated and you have to adopt a 
a, di a different strategy, not exactly different strategy. Your strategy is okay. It is just your means needs to needs to change in order to achieve uh, achieve the strategy that you have placed in front of yourself. And as well, the Eight of Cups in that specific follow up points that you need to maintain your positive attitude. If you are righteous enough, I mean, if your um, if your initiative here is uh, it has its rights, it has its background, it has its uh, foundation. It has its its convictions as well behind it, you know, and its reason. There is no reason whatsoever for you to leave it behind, and you need to press forward and with uh, with everything you got, so you can overcome the competition. Because if your uh, initiation is a uh, supported by all this that I have counted in the previous sentence. Uh, the competition will be left empty-handed here, all right? But it's just at the start, it will seem that uh, they are overwhelming you by a, a large margin, and you should not be intimidated by it. So that being said, uh, this was the tarot reading. Oh my God. These children, man, I mean, it's kind of like... I can't imagine what the parents are. Judging by the children screaming and ululating outside like someone is dying, it's kind of, it's ridiculous. Anyway, so uh, let's see what the Lenormand cards are to say for you guys. Um, they are to show us event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. We do have the Mises at the start, which points to a, a underlying issues and underlying uh, problems that you may not be aware of at that specific moment, which are deteriorating your situation. Then we do have the Sight, which could be sapping the next card, or it could stand also for a, a harvest, and we do have it here with the uh, Snake, which is a, about betrayal, it is a, about enemy so what we we do have is hidden enemy is to be rendered is to be brought to service to, to to the surface is to be annihilated is to be destroyed hidden enemy of yours so that is going to be a pretty pretty important week for you uh pisces uh because that these cards here are pointing that something isn't working out very well for you or the way that it is supposed to work you don't know why well you are to find out why it is because someone in your surroundings that really seriously is jeopardizing that project that relationship or that friendship and they to be brought into light and destroyed in the same framework of this specific week so that being said this was your weekly tarot reading uh, Pisces for November uh, 12 to November 18 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again this is just a general reading for Pisces star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end force you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And if you go for that option, don't forget about the Christmas sales uh, sale that regards to the uh, 20 minutes live, um, live reading. So that being said, guys, uh, this was it. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.